All right, y'all, real quick, real quick. I have always had very bad iron, okay? Like, strangely low iron. And I'm pretty sure most women do. But point is, I take su like supplements for my iron, and I also take vitamin C supplements because to have the iron actually ironing, you need to have some type, some type of vitamin C, whether it's through like an orange or through like a, a supplement, like a pill or something. But point is, I take iron supplements and then vitamin C supplements, okay? And I just wanna show y'all real quick. This, this is my iron pill. Let me show you, let me see. This, that's my iron pill. Let me see if I can, you see that? That's my iron pill. This, no problem, goes down easy. Ain't got no problem with that. But I also take a vitamin C supplement. And when I tell you, what is this? Look, I don't even. What is that? What? It... Hold on, I dropped it. Hold on. What is this? Okay, iron supplement, vitamin C supplement. And look how it's thick too. Look, side by side, turns to side. What is this? What? You're gonna tell me that this isn't the same pill Mr. Krabs had to swallow with his breakfast? You gonna tell me? You gonna tell me that this is normal? What are we doing? Why? And we finna take this too, y'all finna see. Cause I can, I, yeah, I swallow pills, no problem, all right? No problem for me. So this iron pill, gone, no problem. But this, this is gonna be a struggle. Hold on, let me, let me prepare myself. Okay, it went out, it went out, it went out, it went out. Hey, what it is, what it is to you too. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brizzy, and today we will be reacting to Moms on TikTok Have Taken Easter Baskets Too Far by Halo Haley. Now, I know it's been a minute since we've reacted to some of her videos, but uh, we're gonna react today. And for her to say Easter baskets are being taken too far by these TikTok moms, it makes me wonder, what's too far? Because if I remember correctly, Easter baskets, get, getting that bubble wand in that Easter basket was the highlight of the day. Getting that huge chocolate bunny and only being told you can eat just the ears and have to save the rest, oh, that was the highlight of the day, okay? That, that used to be it. Uh, and then maybe you get like a little toy or something to play with in this basket, but it was mostly candy uh, and maybe like that that like basket fluff. Like that that was it for me. Like chocolate bunny, a, maybe a, a toy or two, and then a bubble wand. That was it. And that was amazing. And while we're on the topic of Easter, is it just me or is Easter not Eastering like Easter used to Easter? Easter just ain't been Eastering lately. And I don't know if it's because I'm an adult now. Or if my family, it's just because we ain't got no kids in our family anymore. But Easter used to be amazing. I used to love dying eggs. I used to love waking up to get an Easter basket. I used to love doing the Easter egg hunts and just, just, it was so fun. But now it's like, eh. And it's not that the activities aren't fun anymore. It's just my family doesn't do them anymore. And it sucks because I really wish we would because I'm just a big kid at heart. You tell it, baby, you let them kids loose on that Easter egg field and tell me you won't see me out there. I will be out there shoving little kids out the way. Because you want to know something my family does? This might be for everybody, but sometimes we'd mix real eggs and plastic eggs out in the field, okay? Plastic, egg, uh, plastic eggs would have like some candy in it. And sometimes there would be money in the plastic eggs. But I remember sometimes... There would be a special plastic egg, whether it be like a golden or a yellow egg or whatever, and they would put big bucks in it. I'm talking hundreds, maybe fifties, if I, I don't know, it was a while ago, but I'm talking big bucks for a kid, okay? They would put, they, it would be one egg, maybe two, and they would hide it. Oh, baby, do that today? I'm knocking kids out. Do it today? I'm shoving kids out, Okay? Teeth might be missing, elbows might be scraped, knees might be cut up. I'm getting to them eggs. I'm a big kid at heart, but my family doesn't do it anymore. And it sucks. But you know what we should do? We need to throw a big old adult Easter egg hunt. Like, I'm talking uh, adults, okay? I'm talking huge filled, 
filled with eggs, plastic, real, whatever you want it to be. I'm talking food trucks. I'm talking bounce houses. I'm talking liquor. I'm talking like all types of activities for adults to do that they miss doing as a big, as a little kid. Why don't we do that? That sounds like such a good idea. And it doesn't even have to just be for Easter. It can be for other holidays too, but I'm getting sidetracked. Point is, Easter ain't been Easter and like Easter used to Easter. It really hasn't and I miss it so badly. Um, but yes, I am curious what she means by these Easter bags are being taken a little too far. Because like I said, back when I was a little itty bitty bit, getting that bubble wand, getting that chocolate bunny, highlight of your Easter, okay? But um, yes, this is what we're gonna be reacting to today. So let's go ahead and get off into it. What is happening right now? Since when was Easter rebranded into Christmas part two? Because hmm? why am I seeing parents on TikTok spend thousands, and I am not exaggerating, legitimately thousands of dollars on a on single what? Easter basket for their children? Put together my 12 year old's Easter basket. We're gonna start with the Stanley and her favorite Squishmallows. And then I went to Sephora and loaded up on all of her favorite products. And I grabbed Bubbler, okay. the new flavor just came in. Okay. Um, Oh, is that an iPhone? Air what? Hers and then grabbed her new phone. Okay, wait, 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 wait. How, okay, first of all, how old is this kid? Because believe it or not, I still love to get an Easter basket. At 22 years old, I ain't got one in a while, but I still would love to get an Easter basket. So the age ain't really bothering me too badly, but it looks like it might be for, uh, like a look, like a, maybe a middle schooler, maybe, maybe younger. I don't know, cause y'all know how these Sephora moms be. But besides the point. I was saying when it was just the Stanley Cup, Squishmallow, and yeah, maybe some self-care stuff, it was cool, all right? It was a little much, but it was cool. I understood it, okay? Some families got it like that. That was cool. But when you start adding in the AirPods, the iPhones, and I'm pretty sure she has some other electronic, that's when it's like, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And I don't even want to know who she had to fight for this Stanley Cup, but Jesus, this is a lot for Easter? Yeah, I can see why she said it's Christmas 2.0. <laughs> Cause who got money? Just, like, Your daughter broke her AirPods, so you go and buy her an entirely new iPhone? How does that make any what? sense at all? That's like saying, oh yeah, the batteries, my son's Xbox controller died, so instead of just buying him new batteries, I think I'm just gonna buy him an entirely new Xbox Series One X. She didn't need that. <laughs> And then there was room for a chocolate bunny and some aquaphor. There's and I got more to Starbucks because she keeps having me do a dash. Girl, with her. and then we finish off with some body scrub. <laughs> and on top of the AirPods and the brand oh. new iPhone, you also bought a hundred dollar Starbucks gift card. Let me put this into perspective for you guys, okay? This basket alone for her daughter is an That's entire rent. rent for some people. Yes. What happened to a chocolate egg? And a chocolate money. No, stop that. And, and don't get me wrong, you would get the occasion. Like, you'd get a gift card or two. You'd get, like, a toy or two. You get chocolate bunny, bubble wand, just like a little something extra. Not no thousand some dollars extra, but maybe like ten, twenty dollars extra. Maybe some of y'all got it to where it's fifty dollars extra. But the point is, we ain't spending no thousand dollars on an Easter basket. I know I'm not doing that for my kids. Call me evil if you want to. I will love and cherish my children, but I'm not spending, what was it, $1,500 on the Easter basket. I'm really not. I'm gonna put my heart and soul into it, but you're gonna get this chocolate bunny, you will get this gift card, you're gonna get a couple toys and that bubble wand. Yeah, yeah, because that, no. <laughs> I don't know who's spending rent on an Easter basket, but that is wild. Immediately. <laughs> Sorry to cut in so quickly, but if you're making an Easter basket for your daughter and you're whipping out a Sephora bag and an Amazon package, stop the video right there. None of that should be in an Easter basket, babe. But in this basket, you're giving your daughter an instant lip plumper. <laughs> if How I was the kids? daughter, I would actually feel a little bit heartbroken and offended because my own mother has just indirectly told me that I have thin ass lips and I need to fix them. Why would you get that for your daughter? Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'd much rather get a Kinder Bueno than eyebrow glue and yeah. deal lip oils. And I know that some people are gonna watch this video and say, oh, but they're teenage girls. <laughs> 
as if teenage girls still don't want chocolate. This was an right. Easter bag that my mum got me when I was 17. And I wouldn't have wanted anything I would else. Love Getting everything. firming serums and complex vitamin C drops for your own daughter is crazy. Where is the fun? Where is the joy? Yes. Another Stanley Cup. <laughs> and then we have junk from Lululemon, which I don't even know what that is. Now, okay. First of all, Lululemon is pricey, but I was gonna say, on the ones with like the makeup and stuff, I can see if it's for your daughter who's really into makeup and is like a teenager and everything like that. The lip plumper is a little far, I'm not gonna lie, but I can see if it's for your kid who loves makeup. But baby, put some chocolate in there. Give me the big old Easter eggs, please. I'm not, first of all, this cup alone, I'm not, this cup, this basket alone, I'm not, it's not. $58. If I'm looking at it right now, that Stanley cup oh, is already pricey. That Lululemon little little wallet thingy she got, that's already pricey. That ain't no $58, baby. It's not. What else is he finna put in here? And then she gets a skincare bare. kit. Because of course, what else are you gonna buy an eight year old on Easter? I can't think of anything else personally. An eight year old? And obviously, no. a $40 designer lip gloss, of course. What really confuses me is that these millennial parents were getting chocolates and candies themselves when they were that age. So yes. why won't they keep that tradition going? And we literally know that these kids want that tradition of getting snacks and candy and chocolate over Easter to continue because this mother made up a basket filled with See, socks that's and cute. a speaker and a pack of mouth guards that's, and the kid yes. was only focused on the marshmallows. Like, in some of the videos I've shown you guys, there's been at least some kind of a candy in these baskets. But this is just a straight up beauty basket. There is no magic to this. It is literally just skincare. Okay, 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 wait, wait. I see where you're going, Haley. I see where you're going. But like I said earlier, I can see if your kid is really into self-care. Because that little basket right there, I would love. I would also love that basket. But I'm also thinking, where's the chocolate bunny? Okay, that would be in the back of my mind. So it, you probably should throw a little candy in there. A little something in there. I understand to some people watching this video right now that I could be overreacting. But like we saw in December, kids these days aren't getting toys for Christmas. They're getting skincare. Maybe pogs will start trending again and we won't have to worry about skincare anymore. Oh no, I would never forget skincare. See, she it's already in her DNA, I think. I think it's because of TikTok. And like Why is she we're on seeing TikTok? right now, kids nowadays aren't getting chocolates or candies for Easter. They're getting skincare. And soon enough, and this is not even me being dramatic, we're gonna be seeing people put skincare products instead of Kit Kats in trick or treat bags for kids on Halloween. That is literally the direction that we're headed in. And okay, your child doesn't want candy for Easter because they don't enjoy sweets a whole lot. That's fine. But I just don't yeah. see why the replacement has to be plumping collagen lip masks. You could still just get her her favorite savory snacks. Because my that sister too. isn't a huge fan of chocolate. And that's what my mom did. Put together my 13-year-old's Easter basket with me. This is her basket. I grabbed it at Target for only $5 and I threw in some multicolored Easter grass. Next, I'm adding this oversized sand cloud beach towel. It's so cute. It looks like this when it's opened up. To that, I'm okay. adding this really cute Stony Clover makeup removal cloth and a bunch of beauty items, starting with this duo pack of Great Lash Mascara, She's some 13. fun tropical scented lip balms, some new hair ties, and a mini hemp lotion ties. in one of her favorite scents. I found this super cute gold-plated bracelet at my local Target, and she loves Starbucks, so I'm throwing in a $5 gift card. Now, after First all, watching that video, I thought... <laughs> Sorry, first of all, you can't buy nothing at Starbucks for only five bucks. I'm sorry to tell you, baby, but you need to put at least a solid 20 if you want her to get anything from Starbucks. Starbucks is expensive, but on top of that, your daughter's 13. <laughs> you, you, I, I shouldn't have to say much. Your daughter's 13. She doesn't need all this, like, skincare stuff. And she doesn't need, like, I didn't see too much in this, but, like, speaking overall, your daughters don't need all this skincare stuff. They want some chocolate. Yeah, sure, throw them a little lip balm, maybe some scrunchies and hair ties, maybe. I see it, I see it. But like, going down the route of just skincare products, it does send the wrong impression. I can see what Haley's saying. 
I can see it. It's different if your daughter really loves skincare and she's really into it and she's at the age to be thinking about skincare. Let's let's clear that out. You have to be an, at a certain age to actually start to care about skincare. But point is, I can see where she's coming from. I can see where Haley is coming from because baby bring back the Easter baskets from way back when. Bring those back. And what are these new Easter baskets? If I remember correctly, it used to be, what are those, what was it? What are they called, like wicker baskets? I might be wrong, but like the little wooden ones that would like have pieces that are flaking off and they'd stab into your skin a little bit and they had the handle that goes over top. I'll put a picture if I can find one. But whatever happened to those Easter baskets? Whatever happened to those? I don't see those anymore. Bring those back. That That is a staple in every childhood is those baskets. You know when you see those baskets, it's got something good in it that you're going to want. Okay? Bring those back. Myself. You know what? Maybe Americans just don't have Easter chocolate. Maybe I'm just ignorant. We do. And then I did my own research and in two seconds I discovered that you guys have dedicated sections yeah. to Easter chocolate in your grocery stores. So what exactly is the cause of this pandemic? If the chocolate is right there, why are y'all not buying it up? Since when was it realistic to put a facial exfoliator that prevents premature aging year in old. your 12 year old's Easter basket? Does it make me a boomer to say that maybe you shouldn't be putting anti-aging products in your daughter's that basket part? when she isn't that even part? a teenager yet? And of course on Easter, it's imperative that your two year old learns how to use an iPhone. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that you have to give your two year old chocolate, but instead of teaching them how to use an iPhone, maybe you could just turn on an Easter themed family friendly movie. That might be better. But lastly, it's great well, no that these parents though. want to treat their children, but it just gets to a point where it's a ridiculous amount of yes. overconsumption. So with Easter just a couple days away, what I'm is the to share eight and two year old? I got my kids for their Easter basket. First of all, I got this pool, and this is actually going to be their Easter basket that I put everything in. First off, for my son, I got Girl. these Birkenstocks. I thought they would be perfect for going to the pools while we're on vacation, and I also got him these Tevas. I have a pair of these. They're so comfortable and they were on clearance. And then I also got him a pair of Birkenstocks, like the leather oh. ones. I thought these would be so perfect for our trip to Europe. And then I also got him a pair of Crocs and I already put two gibbets in there. While we're on the pattern of shoes, I got these Crocs for my daughter. I just thought they were so okay, cute, yeah, purple, yeah, sparkly, yeah, she, and she I put okay, mini gibbets in there. So I got her a pair of Tevas. We're still going with the shoes, okay. Like Why? six and you shouldn't it, hold on Haley hold on Haley hold on Haley hold on you shouldn't be adding haul to anything related to building an Easter basket okay it's different if you've got more because I there's uh there's four kids in my family three if you just include me and my 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 two brothers okay I understand calling it a haul if it's for three kids you're gonna stock up on a bunch of stuff to, that way you can evenly build it into three baskets I can see it but you have an eight and a two-year-old there should not be a haul added at the end of your Easter bag or Easter basket sentence there should not and what do they need so many shoes for and if I recall Birkenstocks I don't think they're cheap either I don't think they're cheap girl if you don't just get your kids something from the local shoe store if you don't get them something from the local Target, like shoe section, the Walmart shoe section, that two-year-old will be okay. Okay? That eight-year-old will be just fine. And they're not even going to care about the shoes. I know you care. But, baby, this thing's going to be run through the dirt. And they all look the same. They were all low-key ugly, if I'm going to be honest. All them shoes was low-key ugly. I mean, I'm rocking the Crocs. I like Crocs. They're comfortable. But them bird size, they, they low-key ugly. But, you know, do your own thing. But the point is why so much if you bought a mini pool as their basket and that everything in that box that you were showing is going in that pool why why they don't need that much stuff on easter and on top of that it's going to gas them up it's going to it now i know they're eight and two years old i know it but aren't you worried about some of this stuff going to their head Aren't you worried about them, like, I want, I know you want them to feel loved, but don't, aren't you worried about them thinking, like, they're always going to get something on Easter, or, like, I'm trying to figure out the best way to word this, but, like, I feel like you're going to gas them up too heavy as they get older, 
and have them feel like, oh, my mom didn't get me this huge extravagant big thing on Easter. She must not love me. Or my mom didn't, da, da, da. like I'm, I'm wording this terribly and I'm really hoping you guys are understanding what I'm saying. But like, I kind of feel like it will make them self-centered. No, I don't think that's the word I'm looking for. It'll, it'll make them materialistic, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to find the right words for it, but that's something I worry about when you like over, like over, like do too much for a holiday, like give way too much to your kids on like Easter, or on Christmas, on 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 whenever. Like I know I sound so selfish and so stupid right now, but doing that can really make it go to their head. It can make them materialistic. It can make them kind of narcissistic in a way not gonna add that on but you know what i mean but i don't know it's something i think about often but adding a haul to anything related to building an easter basket is wild to me very young children is wild but to have to use an inflatable See, pool to uh, build all of these gifts yeah. for easter with is genuinely wild because I can guarantee you right now, they would have been just as happy, if not happier, to receive just a 12 pack of chocolates. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a now, boomer. Maybe I'm so out, out of, of touch. touch. But filling your kid's Easter basket with Kim Kardashian's energy drink, two Stanley Cups and under eye patches takes so much of the fun of Easter out of yes. the holiday. Personally, I think we should all just stick to morning Easter egg hunts with the family. Or is that too old fashioned now? Anyways, see guys, you. thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I like that top. That's a cute top. Um, but yeah, I like I said, everything I said during the video is pretty much what I'm saying. Like, whatever happened to like the old. I don't even know if they're called like wicker baskets. Probably not. Probably something different. But whatever happened to the old Easter baskets? Whatever happened to just some Easter grass, a toy or two, like a cheap little toy or two, big old Easter egg, like chocolate Easter egg, big old chocolate bunny, and maybe a couple gift cards here and there. Whatever happened to the bubble wand? Like what? whatever happened to that? Putting skincare products in your child's Easter basket is wild to me. I can get if it's like a teenager who doesn't really like sweets and is really into like skincare. I can see it. But for your child who's only 13 and under, come on now. Come on now. They don't need a, ra a makeup removing wipe because they shouldn't be wearing makeup in the first place. Okay? They don't need mascara. They don't need bath bomb. I mean, hey, some kids like bath bombs. So, hey, that, that one's still up in the air. But... Your kid doesn't need a lip, a lip pumping, a lip plumping mask. My God, that almost took me out. Um, but yes, all of this stuff. Your kid doesn't need a what was it, a coffee scrub for their face that has anti aging like stuff in it. They don't need it, especially if they're under teenage age. So like I'd say roughly, especially if they're under the age of sixteen. Okay, just give them some chocolate and call it a day. Take him on an Easter egg hunt and call it a day, okay? They don't need all that. When it was me and mine, we got the wood basket. We got the chocolate egg or the bunny egg or the chocolate bunny. We got the bubble wand. We got a couple of toys, little cheap little toys. At most, I'm willing to say our baskets, uh, of course, it's three of us that got baskets. So for me, like, ind like individual, each individual basket probably cost my family 40 bucks. 40 bit, like all the stuff I'm talking about, you can literally get at the dollar store. Yeah. So it might be cheaper than 40 bucks, if I'm going to be honest. So, yeah. Easter's getting a little ridiculous. I know when I have kids, you're going to get this Easter basket and you're going to shut up. You're going to get this chocolate bunny and you're going to sit down. Okay? We're not going to be doing no iPhone. We're not going to be spending no thousand dollars. We're not even going to be spending no hundred dollars on your Easter basket. What are you talking about? What are you talking? You want a new iPhone on Easter? You want a new AirPods on Easter? What? Girl, take this bubble wand and go outside.
absolutely not you were eight years old no but um yes uh go check out halo Haley's channel she has a bunch of other content that i just know you guys will love um leave a like leave a comment subscribe and all that good stuff and if you have any recommendations you can send that on over to codenamebrizzy at gmail.com you can find that in the description down below and if you want to support the channel you know show your love for me and help me buy new equipment there is a way for you to do that down in the description below so definitely go check that out but um yes i i enjoyed this she really uh She's just so good at exposing, like, the things wrong in current day, in, like, the modern day. She is so good at exposing, like, just the most random things that, honestly, I didn't even know was going on. Okay? So, I always look to her whenever I want to figure something out on why people <laughs> people are getting a lot of hate for certain things. But, um, yes. My name is Brizzy, and I really do appreciate you watching this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.